Baby needs changing. Can you get out of our way? Where are we going? Away from here as soon as we can in a minute. I want to hear. Oh, they're not interviewing the kids. Okay, then let us leave. Any comments? Tell me about the letter. Tell me about the letter that Mr. Mann read to, uh, to uh, Mr. Young. Well, read it. Are you familiar with it? What read does it, it say? everybody. Take a look at it. Well, why did he write it? Why did you come to court today? Yes, why did you? Charles. Because <laughs> who told you to come to court today? Charles Manson or Oh, yeah. Well, I won't say it. What, what about the letter, Squeaky? What, why is he writing it? Hmm? Are you confused wow. by all of this? Don't be. We're just trying to get information. <laughs> Don't be confused. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I wish you all could see it, and I wish you'd print that. Well, what, what does the letter say, and why did he write it? I will read it. But what? why did he write it? I, don't, I can't, you know, I can't answer all your why. Love your screen eyes. <laughs> when you saw Mr. Manson this morning, how did he look to you? you know, Hell! <laughs> Did he look good, healthy? Got it. Sure, he looks beautiful. What was your reaction? He looks however you think he looks. How did you get here today? Did you come by car? Did you walk? <laughs> Would you like to uh, read his letter for us? Uh, so we I know what is in it? it. I think you could oh, read it. We don't it. have a copy of it. Could you read it for everyone? So we can hear what Charlie has to say? What did you I have a copy of it right here. Oh, we so don't I have a copy. Come on, what, is, what is your reaction now? Read it for us. What'd you do? Uh, uh, Would you read it? I don't know what you're talking about right now. Yeah. We don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what you're talking about. We don't know what you're talking about either, man. No, 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 this is the letter. Would you like to read it? Uh, you can read it. Why don't you read it? Would you like to read it for us? Now read it for us. It's a little louder. I'm writing to you because I don't think I'm getting a fair trial. I have this belief for no. Um, I have to talk to a lawyer before I do this. No, this is already in the court evidence. Go ahead. I have this belief for a number of reasons. Let's get everybody together. Then we can do it again. But, uh, let's get everybody together. Can I have it? Huh? Ira, can we uh, read this letter from Charlie that's already been uh, introduced? Mr. Mr. Hughes has the copy. Let me get them all together. Come on up. You want it? Got it all? Very good. Uh, let's go get separated. You want to follow on down? I think you're going to hold them kind of confident. It's legal. I am, oh, dear Mr. Younger, I am writing to you because I don't think I'm getting a fair trial. I have this belief for a number of reasons, some of which I will state to you. First of all, I'm an individual, one man, standing alone, defending myself. Contrast this with the facilities you have available to you. Hundreds of attorneys working for you, hundreds of investigators working for you, thousands of Los Angeles Police Department officers, many of whom are working on this case, access to FBI files and help from the FBI, access to sheriff's files and help from the sheriff and his men, help from the attorney general's office, a large multi-million dollar budget, offices, equipment, telephones, machines beyond description, instant access to the news media. For an attorney, I have myself. For an investigator, I have myself. I have no police officers working for me. I have no access to any files. I have no equipment. My office is a small cell. I may make three telephone calls a day. How many may you? I may not see any witness more than three times. 
Have you seen any witnesses more than the jail? I experience long delays waiting for an escort, and every time I am moved, I am searched. Every inch of my body, my nostrils, ears, and mouth, completely naked for at least 15 minutes. The so, too. To place a phone call, I must stand in line up to an hour and a half. How long must you stand in line? I am promised one thing by the judge in court in front of the press, and it is later taken away when I am back in my cell. My witnesses and friends are being arrested, followed, and harassed without cause. There have been informants in the cell block I am in. I have no informants in your office. And now, to top it off, on the eve of the trial, I am being kept in solitary confinement without access to even, even to the Stone Age facility.